Hello everyone and welcome sa panibagong series na gagawin natin sa channel na to. Uh, this one is a more technical uh, topic kasi ang pag-aaral natin for today is how to read music sheets. So nagtanong ako dun sa post ko before kung ano yung gusto natin gusto niyo pag-aaralan and uh, almost 85 dun sa nag-vote out of 113 uh, nag uh, ang pinili nila is yung how to read music sheets. So today I'm going to teach you how to read music sheets. Uh, before we begin, introduce ko lang sa inyo itong page na to, uh, itong site na to. It's called musictheory.net. So, ito yung ginagamit namin sa college para mag-aral ng music theory. Uh, you can access this site for free, wala itong bayad. Uh, kung wala tayong lesson, pwede kayong pumunta sa site na to para mag-advance or para pag-aralan yung music theory by yourself. So, saan ba tayo dito magsisimula? Let's click here dito sa lesson. Dito yung... Uh, basic natin. So, ito yung nakalagay dyan na meron the basics, uh, the staff clefs, and ledger lines. Note duration, measures, and time signature. Doon muna tayo sa staff clefs and ledger lines. So, ito yung pinaka-basic na pag-aaral natin sa kung paano magbasa ng music sheets. Alright, so let's click. Okay, so ito ang sabi, introduction niya is the staff. So ito yung una natin pag-aaralan. Ang sabi sa description is, the staff is the foundation upon which notes are drawn. So kung titingin kayo ng mga piyesa, mapapansin nyo, hindi mawawala itong uh, component na to. This is called the staff. So the modern staff comprises five lines and four spaces. So always remember guys, na ang staff natin has 5 lines ito nakalagay, may numbering naman dito 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines and we have spaces, apat apat sa gitna, gitna ng mga lines 1, 2, 3, and 4 always remember guys, ang staff has 5 lines and 4 spaces alright, so let's proceed to the next part Every line or space on the staff represents a white key on the keyboard. So, ito yung basic natin. Every line or space daw sa staff, kahit saan ka tumapat na note dyan, lahat yan maglaland either in any of these white keys sa keyboard. Right? Uh, let's set aside this, uh, this part for now. Move na sa ito, clefs. So, Konting recap lang, ang staff has 5 lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 4 spaces in between. So yun yun guys, huwag nyo kakalimutan. It's one of the basic uh, elements na kailangan nyo matunan sa pagbabasa ng music sheets. Next is the clefs. The clefs assign individual notes to certain lines or spaces. Two clefs are normally used, the treble and the bass clef. So sa piano guys, is, uh, May, may iba sa inyo na nagigitara pero hindi nagka-piano na doon sa nagka-piano uh, meron tayong dalawang klase ng, step, ng clef I mean we have the treble clef we have the bass clef sa guitars naman it's commonly uh, treble clef wala tayong bass clef sa guitar yeah sa guitar madalas ginagamit ang treble clef uh, bihira lang yung bass clef kasi may mga minsan lumalagpas pa sa sobrang babang parts yun yung lower strings so yeah First, we will discuss the treble clef, also called the G clef. Ito. Don't forget this sign. Kasi ito yung isa sa mga symbols na I think marami sa inyo ang sobrang uh, na-oversee na sa paligid. Kasi madalas yung ginagamit as symbol. The staff line which the clef wraps around, shown in red, is known as G. Any note placed on this line becomes G. So, ito yung kailangan nyo tandaan guys. Napansin niyo tong uh, bilog na to na part ng G clef. The circle dito sa part na to, yung gitna nun, which is the second line from the bottom part ng staff is the note G. Now, kung i kung magahan on tayo sa piano, this G is not just any G na may kita sa piano kasi meron tayong specific uh, placing ng mga notes sa staff sa keyboard or sa piano. So, this G is found on the G na above sa middle C, sa middle part ng piano. So, if ever meron kayong mga keyboard sa bahay, try nyo hanapin yung C, yung Do, na nasa gitna. Or any, kung ano yung malapit sa gitna. 
Yun na yun. Pero on 61 keys, uh, yung middle C is found on 1, 2, 3. The third C from the bottom. Yun yung uh, middle C. Now, take 5 steps ahead above. C, D, E, F, G. That's the G. Itong tinutukoy dito. Okay? So again, itong red line na to, any note na tumapat dyan is called the G or Sol. Next, the note on the space above G is A. Remember, there is not an H note. Okay, so sa music guys, wala tayong letter H except doon sa mga lumang versions na gumagamit sila ng H meaning, uh, I think it's a B, German term for B, B. Pero in modern terms, wala tayong H sa uh, music. Okay, so again, the note on the space above G is A. So, this is G. And then, ang susunod na note natin is nasa space. Wala sa line, ha guys? Uh, always remember, ang system natin sa pagbabasa ng notes is more on line to space. So, after ng line, susunod ang space. After ng space, susunod ang line. Ganun dapat. Hindi line, tapos line, line naman. Hindi ganun. Line to space. So, G, itong red line na to is G. And then, the space above, itong space lang dito, itong uh, tinuturo ko sa cursor, is A. Okay, wala tayong H, it's A. The note on the line above A is B. So, this one, itong line na to, pangatlong line sa uh, staff ng G clef is B. So, we have G, we have A, we have B. Okay, guys, sa G clef to ha, every time na maka-encounter kayo ng mga notes na nandito sa second line, second space, and third line, that's G, A, B, or as follows. Pag sa F clef, sa bass clef, iba na yung reading, reading method natin. And this process continues. So, we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Pag pinili sa piano, ganito ang sound niyan. Yan. It's not a major scale, guys. Ha? Mix ulit niya scale to. So, hindi siya nakaka... Hindi siya hindi siya nakabatay sa major minor scales. Iba pa to. So, basic lang. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So, always remember, try nyo picture to guys para meron kayo palatandaan. Again, this is the G above the middle C. So, this is C. Take 5 steps ahead. Counted yung C as 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's G. Okay? Ito na yung G na yun. Next. We just run out of room to, to place notes. What happens now? Okay. So, ito yung part na pag sumobra na yung notes natin sa staff. Halimbawa, lumagpas na yung notes sa G, tumaas pa. From G, ano yung next letter sa G? It's A. Not, not H, ha? Guys, it's A. So, tumaas ulit siya na isang step. Anong manyayari? Dito na papasok yung ledger lines. So, ito yung tura ng ledger lines natin, guys. Ayan. Maliit lang siya ng lines. So, ang purpose nito is to extend the staff kasi hindi lahat ng notes sa keyboard ay kayang uh, i-accommodate ng staff natin. So, to, uh, to solve our dilemma, sabi dito, ledger lines are here or are made. A ledger line is a small line that extends the staff when we run out of room. So, again, this is ledger line. It is used kahit nasa baba yan, it's the same ledger line. Uh, in-extend nyo yung staff kung halimbawa kulang na yung room to place the notes so <clears throat> with the ledger line draw we can place the A ayun yun na yung A na supposed to be susunod sa G okay as follows so again recap tayo the staff is the foundation upon which notes are drawn again ha guys recap lang para maalala nyo It has 5 lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 4 spaces. Kahit anong staff ang gamitin nyo, basta, uh, I mean, kahit anong clef ang gamitin nyo, basta nasa isang klase ng staff siya, it has 5 lines and 4 spaces. So, every line of space on a staff represents a white key on the keyboard. Not black, guys, ha? It's just white. Lahat yan white. Kahit saan tumapat yung notes na yan, it's all white. Next, uh, we have the treble clef and the bass clef. By the way, the treble clef is used to accommodate notes that are on the higher pitch, okay? And the bass clef is used to accommodate notes that are in the lower pitch. Kaya marinig niyo yung mga malalalim ang boses, ang tawag nila is bass. Uh, it's because bass is incorporated with the term uh, low, low notes, okay? And treble clef is used for high pitches or high notes. Uh, and then the treble clef is also called the G clef. Yep, yan. 
Tandaan nyo guys, yung bilog na to na nakinabibilangan nung G-Clef is Wait, it's recording. Okay. So, the G-Clef, yung second space na to, ito na sa gitna na to, that's called the G-Note. Itong line na kinabibilangan nitong dot na yan. Lahat yan, kahit anong note na lumapag dyan sa second line na yan, it's called the G. And then, the note on the space above G is A. Again, line space system tayo. And then, the note on the line above A is B. So, G, A, B. And then, the process continues. Ito na. Huwag kalimutan picture nito guys, para hindi nyo makalimutan. And then, we have the ledger lines to extend the staff. Kasi kulang na yung, yung, uh, yung room para lagyan natin ng notes. So, we have the ledger lines above and we have also have we also have the, the ledger lines below. And then uh, let's move the man's base clef. The stuff in line between the two dots of the, cl the clef is F ato. Ito yung isa sa mga kailangan niyo i-memorize pagdating sa F clef. The symbol, yung dalawang dot sa symbol. Yung line na nasa gitna ng dalawang symbol na yon is the note F. Now, this F is 5 steps below the middle C. So, C, B, A, G, F. Ito yung F na uh, nakalagay dyan. Okay? The reading method is just the same dun sa sinabi ko nyo sa G clef. Line, space, line, space, line. Ledger line sa taas. Okay? We can now fill the rest of the stuff with the notes. Ito na. We have F, G, A, Okay, pansin niyo meron silang jump. We have two types of steps sa uh, sa pagbabasa ng music notes. We have the step which is from line next step to the next uh, space above. I mean, from line next step up siya sa space, isang isang step lang ha. Iba yung F tapos napunta dun sa space na laktaw pa dun sa taas. That's different. So F G A tapos nag-skip Ibig sabihin, lumaktaw tayo ng isang note sa gitna. So, from A, nilagpasan si G, napunta tayo sa F. And then, pababa yung alphabet. So, alphabet natin, A, B, C, D, F, G. Balita rin nyo, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So, ito yun. F, E, D, C, B, A, going back to G. Okay? So, doon lang yung cycle ng alphabet natin sa music, from A to G. Okay? Pag pababa ang notes, guys, pababa rin ang pagbibilang or ang pag uh, ang pag sasabi sa alphabet. Okay? So from pagpataas A B C D E F G, pagpababa G F E D C B A. Kailan niyo ring masanay sa ganyan? Next. Finally, we will discuss the grand staff. Ito na. For the piano players or the pianist out there, ito yung tinatawag na grand staff. Medyo dikit-dikit lang dito pero maghihulay mamaya. A theoretical staff consisting of seven, 11 lines. Okay. So, sabi dito is uh, a theoretical staff consisting of 11 lines. Theoretical meaning hindi naman siya madalas ginagamit. It's just a theory. Uh, so, next slide is what happens when we eliminate the middle line? We end up with two regular staffs. So, ito na nangyari. We have two regular stuffs sa taas, sa baba. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines sa baba. So, ang ginawa is tinanggal yung line dun sa gitna. From 11 lines, napunta tayo sa, ah, uh, nauwi tayo sa 10 lines. So, we have the stuff sa taas, we have the stuff sa baba. By adding a treble clef to the top st staff and the bass clef to the bottom staff, we can see the relationship between the two staffs. So, ito na. We have the treble clef sa taas. Guys, sa basic, ang treble clef natin na sa taas. Pero, pag dumating kayo sa mga medyo complicated na napiyasa, nagpapalit yan minsan. Yung, yung, yung bass clef na pupunta sa taas, and then yung treble clef na pupunta sa baba. Minsan, parehong treble clef yan. Minsan, parehong bass clef. Okay? So, this is just for the basic. Uh, ang treble clef na sa taas na staff, and the bass clef is nasa baba na staff. Now, ano ang uh, appropriate na gagamitin ng kamay dito sa dalawang to? The G clef is supposed to be used by the right hand kasi ito yung high, high pitch ng piano na sa right side. And then, on the lower staff, we have the bass clef. Ito yung uh, tututugin ng kalawang kamay nyo. So, pababa. 
Notice how the two clefts are joined by the C shown in red. Okay. So, naalala nyo tinanggal natin lines kanina. Yung isang lines sa gitna. That is supposed to be the middle C. Okay. So, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina. Hanapin nyo yung pinakamalapit sa gitna na do. Sa piano nyo. Sa keyboard nyo. So, this is C. Ito yung mag-divide dun sa dalawang staff. It will be the middle. Alright. Alright. This C is commonly called the middle C since it corresponds to the middle staff line on the grand staff. So, kasi tinawag na middle C is nasa gitna siya ng dalawang staff, ng dalaw itong grand staff na to, kaya tinawag sa kanya is middle C. Okay, nasa piano naman, meron din tayong middle C, which is yung C na pinakamalapit sa gitna ng piano nyo. Now, on my case, it's the third C from below, 1, 2, 3. If you're going to play on a uh, 88 keys na piano, it's on the 4th C from the bottom. So, 1, 2, 3, 4th C. Okay? So, this is the first lesson na kailangan nyo matutunan, guys, when, uh, if you want to read music uh, music sheets. So, the staff, clefs, and ledger lines. You can visit this site anytime, guys. Punta lang kayo dun sa may lesson. Ito, dito sa lesson. Uh, musictheory.net slash lessons. And then, the very first, uh, the very first lesson nandito sa basic ito i-click nyo. Now, I'll see you guys in the next episode of this uh, series. Ang pag-aaral naman natin is yung note duration. Uh, dito natin malalaman kung ano na ba yung mga klase ng notes na kailangan nyo pag-aaralan. Ito, 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 itong lima na ito. Alright, uh, subscribe to this channel guys kung gusto nyo pang matuto uh, about sa music. Comment down below kung may mga gusto kayong i-add about this matter. And uh, don't forget to click the bell notification to stay updated sa mga videos ko na paparating. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of this tutorial series. Bye-bye!